Here's a quick graph PowerShell trick that I learned recently. Did you know that every object has a to JSON string method and it gives you the JSON formatted version of the object? Now, you could always do the convert to JSON method, but what that does is convert the graph PowerShell .NET object model to JSON, uh, which results in lots of these null values um, and it might not exactly be what you want. Say, for example, this has 600 odd lines compared to this, which gave me maybe about 10 or 20 lines of the actual object. Now, the other issue with this is if I were to get, for example, the manager field, you'll see that it has, uh, it doesn't have the actual value. It has the object type name in it. Now we can instead, we can use the to JSON string method and it gives you a much more neater format of the object with the manager field expanded already. I hope you found this useful. So remember to follow me for more tips and tricks on Graph PowerShell and Entron.